edition of our Side Swiss book review series. Today we'll be reviewing Vagabonding by Rolf Potts. This book is about vagabonding, which is the art of long-term travel that emphasizes independence, simplicity, and awareness. Rolf Potts went on an, his own vagabonding trip after saving up some money from teaching in South Korea. So that's where he gained some of the knowledge for this book because it's not like it's some random guy who sit in his couch and is explaining now to you what to do. He actually done the experience himself and so you can like trust what he's saying. So three things I like about this book is first the part where he explains how to go about exploring countries. He says that you don't say I'm spending two weeks in, in Lithuania, you say I'm going to explore the whole of Lithuania and try to meet up with some of their locals and enjoy like go to the bars and talk to some locals there. Because that's how you get an adventure. You don't just go to the main sites and get an adventure. If you try to experience the life of the locals, that's mostly how you're gonna get, you know, a sort of entertaining and nail-biting experience. Second is about budgeting. I think that budgeting is really key for vagabonding because it proves that you can go on long-term travel with just a small amount of money and I think that that's really useful. You, but one key thing about this is you can't go to hotels every day if you want to budget your money. You have to go to some like hostels and you know a bit like less comfortable places. You can't go to like five-star restaurants and stuff. That's not going to be possible. But by making that sacrifice, you're going to be able to stay on your trip for much longer. Last but not least, cultural awareness. When you go to a country, you have to be aware of their culture and religion. So if you're going to a mosque and some and people are praying, you should stay still and you know respect their prayer and don't be noisy because they're trying to be in like a meditative state where they're praying to their god so it would be very disrespectful if you kept on going around with your business another example is if you're in india you should not eat beef because the locals could get offended because it's highly against their religion and cows are sacred to them so I think that it's really important that we're aware of these things because when you go to a country, you're visiting the locals and you don't really want to offend them because they're some of the people that could give some really warm hospitality to you and it's not really nice to just intrude people country and just offend their religion. They'll get really, they'll really feel like a bad emotions towards tourists from now on if you do that. Another thing I like about this book is the vagabonding profiles which shows many famous people who did vagabonding. So for example, Walt Whitman, the famous poet, John Muir, the explorer and famous naturalist. And so I think that these famous people is really important because they're like from really far past in like 1800s so I think the fact that Rolf Potts used them in his book is pretty cool because you can see like the history of vagabonding but one of my personal favorites was Bayard Taylor this kid who was just 19 literally went to Europe with $140 and went around for two years just walking. I think it's really extraordinary. He went around doing some little jobs, working like thrift stores, and I think that it's really amazing how he like showed the world how you can travel overseas, not just for rich people, but also with just $140. So I think that it's really remarkable how this 19 year old kid used his brain and like was able to plan out this 
at that time a concept that's pretty revolutionary because not a lot of people are thinking about that just the normal person is going to be able to travel to Europe. So I think that that's a really interesting part of this book because you get to see a lot of different biographies and stories of how people took vagabonding in like their different ways of doing it. I really think that this book is really useful. I'm planning to actually, you know, take like a year after high school to just explore the world and, you know, look at the places we've studied about and actually see them in my own eyes. So I think that the budgeting part will be really important for that because my savings is pretty low right now for that. It's only around $2,600. So when it comes to that time, I think that the amount of information about budgeting I get from this book will be really important and I'll have to get used to sleeping in hostels. Thank you for watching and see you at my next destination.